Hey guys, it's What's Cooking Wednesday, so I'm going to show you what we're cooking here in our house this week. It's stuffed peppers. The thing I really like about stuffed peppers is it's really versatile. You can put in the summer, you can use zucchini and ground meat, and then at this time of year, it can be butternut squash and Swiss chard like this recipe. For our stuffed peppers, we first hollowed out the peppers and we're gonna put them in a little baking dish and we're gonna put them in the oven for 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Meanwhile, we're going to start working on our meat mixture. So we're gonna use a little cooking fat. Um, this is coconut oil. Okay, we're gonna saute one red onion for about two to three minutes. Looks like our peppers are done, so we're gonna pull them out and just set them aside. Next is our two cloves of garlic. And we're just gonna cook these until they get aromatic. It's about one minute. Ah, the garlic smells ready. So now, we're gonna add our Swiss chard. This is a four, just leaves only, so we cut out the stems of Swiss chard right from our garden. We're gonna cook this for one minute. Now we're gonna add our venison ground. This is from a deer that I got this year, honey. And we're just gonna break it up. The ground meat is now broken up, so now we're gonna add some spices. We're gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of cumin, a quarter teaspoon of chili powder, and then we got one of our Howard German tomatoes chopped up. And then we're gonna stir this in, and then we're gonna continue to cook until the ground meat is browned. Now the ground is browned, and we got the uh, butternut squash to put in. We're just gonna throw this in and soften it up for about two to three minutes. Okay, now our meat mixture is ready, and it's very simply just taking the meat mixture and dividing it four ways between these peppers. By the way, the peppers too were from our garden did really well this year. Let some stay on the vine until they turn red. Just getting this stuff in here. And after you get this in here, we're going to put it back in the oven and we're going to cook it for another 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay, time's up. And here's the final product. There you have it, our stuffed peppers. Thanks for watching this video on how to make stuffed peppers with butternut squash and Swiss chard. And if you want, you can like the video, share it with your friends, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.